Hi everyone and welcome back to Waterhouse Ford. Today's video is going to be probably a very short video. Um, we're just dealing with the... This is the tap that um, sits on the side of the block of the engine and is designed to allow you to drain the coolant out of the engine. Now as you can see I've already dismantled this. I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to dismantle it um, which is why I kind of did it first. Again, it's not going to, there's not going to be a lot of video content. I'm not going to video cleaning it. Um, uh, yeah, I might do it, you know, a couple of minutes maybe, but for the most part, it's going to be a relatively short video. So again, hopefully of interest to some of you. All right, well, we'll get that um, cleaned up and then uh, we'll come back. So those are all now nice and clean. You can see that that's come up pretty good. And um, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, this one as well. As you can see, there is a broken piece off here. But other than that, that looks good. And, and all the rest of it looks good. Now, the um, obviously the way this works, that sits inside there. When the holes line up, it allows the water to, to come out. And when you turn it that way, basically 90 degrees, then it should lock or block the, uh, the flow of the water. What we, um, actually it seems to have been that way, but anyway, uh, which would make sense to keep the, the handle away from the outside world, if you see what I mean. Um, but what, I, what I've done, I've tested it uh, with compressed air and I can see that it um, is not uh, closing off 100%, right? So what I want to do is to basically reface the, this surface and that surface. And essentially what I'm going to do, put a little bit of grinding paste on there. Um, so just your normal lapping um, paste that you use for uh, lapping valves. And we're just going to try and lap these two surfaces back together again. So I've got my um, my lapping paste here. I'm just going to use the fine. I'm not going to bother with the coarse. I think that the, the fine will be enough. It. Um, I don't think it needs a lot. Um, I think it's just a case of um, basically polishing that's required. So we put a little bit of that on. That's probably way too much. But, um, Put some of that back, just like that. Now I may need to go over to the vase uh, and do this, but um, I'm going to try and do it by hand. So what we want to do is basically just lap these two surfaces together again. And we're basically just turning it.
And what that will do is basically ground the two surfaces um, equally until such time as um, they match essentially. Now we can see there's probably a fair amount of dirt coming off. You can see that looks quite dirty. So we'll just give that a wipe and see what the surface is looking like. Now already you can see how how much smoother that surface is. We still see a little bit of pitting in the center there and a little bit of scoring over there. So we've still got a way to go. Well, a little way to go, not a lot. But um, it's definitely working and it's starting to already starting to to lap the two surfaces together. So we'll just get that cleaned up now and then we'll do another yeah we'll do that again right. it's definitely starting to look better I'm, um, I'm inclined to test it now and just see whether we can seal off compressed air with it if we can then it'll be good enough for water but um, still seeing a little bit of um, scoring on the surface here kind of at this top edge which may just that may be okay and then a small very small amount of pitting over here but um, still which um, may be because of the um, the holes obviously in this face and in that face it might, that might be what's causing that but um, I think what I'll do, let's try with a bit of, um, well I'll have to clean that out because I've still got some, some um, grit in it. Uh, I'll clean that off with some petrol and then um, what I'll do is test it again with compressed air and see whether, whether it seals now. Okay, I just cleaned it up and um, tested it again with some compressed air um, but it is still leaking when, uh, when it's closed. Uh, obviously you have to hold it, put a little bit of pressure on it but um, it's definitely still still leaking out there so we need to go a little bit more um, yeah so we're just going to keep going with that and once it's done then um, I'll come back okay I've um, ground this as much as I'm prepared to do but I'm still I've still got lines on it um, grooves so I need to research a better way of lapping that um, because obviously that's now starting to get too far down um, I don't want this to go too far into the V so um, I need to do a bit of research on how to how to do that better but um, anyway so I'm going to leave this one here not a very big video just a short one just to talk a little bit about this tab um, but basically that's as far as we're going to go on that for now. If um, if I find a better way of um, lapping these two surfaces so that we get a good seal then I'll come back and I'll make a, a follow-up video. Um, otherwise I think I'll just have to buy another tap um, for this one. You don't, Unfortunately you don't get this design anymore. Um, the ones that you can buy with the correct thread at the back here. Um, they're just more basically more modern they're not um, uh, cast like this is um, which is which is I guess the attraction to this anyway we'll leave it there so once again thanks for joining us for this video and um, we'll see you on the next one cheers for now